What's going on, everybody? This weekend, we are at Glendale Supercross at the home of the Arizona Cardinal Stadium. Looking forward to it. Should be some good racing. I'm curious to see how this uh, track is going to shape up. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw any of the images, but the track kind of goes into the end zone and there's a little cutout. So I'm really curious. Super long uh, rhythm lanes. Curious to see how those are gonna how those are gonna stack up. You know, I, uh, I think a lot of people are gonna have difficulty getting through them smoothly every single lap. So it should be really interesting to uh, to see. So, anyway, so I built this track on Supercross Two. If you guys wanna ride it, um, shoot over to Supercross Two, the video game, and go to Glendale 2024. Um, so let's get into it. So right here we got the start straight. You're gonna come around. First jump is gonna probably be an on off. Go into a triple, to another triple, and then finish it off with another triple. 180 bull turn, triple out, into a hip jump, set you up for the whoops. Do another 180. Not sure how they're gonna have the sand set up. If it's gonna be more like rollers, or if it's gonna actually be jumps so they can kind of jump through. Go across the start straight into another sand section. 180 into some whoops, double into your finish line. 180 to a nice triple. This uh, section right here is gonna be interesting. Kind of a quad, I guess, on top of a table over into a triple and then I had to make that section a little shorter should be another maybe triple to a double across the uh, start straight 180 super fast sections right here jump a little triple another 180 nice big triple back across the start straight not really sure as far as rhythm lanes people might I don't know I guess double that and then go over um, but building it was a little bit harder. So it'll be a little interesting to see kind of how people attack this track. If it's going to be one line through the rhythm section or if people are doing a lot of different stuff. Um, curious to see if Tomac's going to have a bounce back race this weekend. Um, I, I was really curious if his Achilles was acting up on him, starting to kind of hinder him a little bit and if he was getting tired i know they were saying possibly some arm pump i heard bike issues and other stuff like that but i don't know man i think i think i mean tomac really started training in like november so he didn't have a long time to kind of get back on the bike and and start getting back into the swing of it so we'll see uh jet looks strong again had a couple little bobbles um but the person i'm really excited to watch is uh cooper webb He's been looking super, super fast. Um, I think if he gets that good start, that's really gonna set him apart. And I think he had the speed that I don't, I don't necessarily know if he would pull away from Jet, but I think he would definitely give Jet a run for his money just on that raw speed. When it comes to the 250 class, we got Levi Kitchen and we got uh, Jordan Smith tied for points. So really excited to see those guys battle it out. Um, see if Hampshire can kind of rebound a little bit. Um, we got an indoor stadium, so weather shouldn't be a factor at all. Again, just curious to see how this track really shapes up, um, considering we got super long rhythm lanes, um, to see if it's a pretty raceable track or if it's just going to be mainly one line through the rhythms and the guys have to really try to make their passes in, you know, some of these 90 degree or, or 180 corners like this one right here. So I'm excited to watch it go down again. If you guys would like to try this track out, um, it's pretty, pretty close to what the track is going to look like. Head over to Supercross 2. Again, it's Glendale 2024. Um, I go by Busy Brain. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Hopefully you guys get some entertainment out of uh, out of these videos. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next one.